Mechanical weed control is becoming more and more important, not only in organic agriculture. An increasing number of conventional farming companies are also shunning and abandoning the use of herbicides. Since 2004, the Treffler Company was ahead of this trend and has been providing an efficient overall concept for mechanical weed control. Treffler became known thanks to its Precision Tine Harrow, up to now the most important product. Meanwhile, also other machines are part of the product range of the Bavarian family enterprise, for example, a spring tooth cultivator and a cultivator, also known as the Treffler Dream Team. What makes the two devices so exceptional? Their effectiveness and ease in use. All this could be seen under different scenarios after the grain harvest. We start by plowing up a harvested area of grass clover to prepare it for the following crop. The precision spring tooth cultivator is used for preliminary work. The tines follow their course and do not deviate. In the case of perennial grass clover, the turf is torn in strips. Rudy Barth, agronomy consultant at Treffler, evaluates the work results for us. We've gone now here with the spring tooth cultivator, and as you can see, we only make cracks and gullies in the soil. This is useful when we subsequently work with the cultivator. No large pieces of sod or turf are thrown out, which cannot be worked afterwards. We're just making a slit in the ground. You can see that here and there. The grass clover actually remains. During the next step with the cultivator, everything breaks up nicely into small pieces. Tandem support wheels with pneumatic tires can be finely adjusted via a hand crank and provide precise depth control. They are suspended and during the ride adapt to the contour of the field. Thanks to the flat mode of operation, only a small amount of earth is moved which has a positive impact on tractive effort requirements and thus also on fuel consumption. Now the Treffler Precision Cultivator makes its appearance. Here in operation, a 5 meter wide trailed machine with its own chassis. Four oscillating support wheels ensure exact adherence to the working depth and compensate for ruts. The wide goose foot sweeps are distributed over four beams and have a wide overlap. This makes the cultivator ideal for breaking up grass clover. Rudy shows us what the machine can do here. As you can see here, we dug quite shallow, two to three centimeters deep. The grass clover is completely separated from the root and laid on top of the soil. The wind and the sun dry the grass clover. In organic farming, this replaces the use of herbicides. You can also see here, everything has been cut cleanly over the entire surface. With our cultivator, the sweeps overlap by eight centimeters, resulting in a 100% full surface cut. Another crucial aspect is that the earthworm pores in the soil remain open. They must not be smeared over. In the event of a heavy rainfall, the water must be able to pass through the pores. So here you can see that nothing is smeared and the grass clover was cut cleanly, covering the whole area. As with the spring tooth cultivator, the tines operate in a stroke-stable manner. The wide bearing, in conjunction with a leaf spring package, is designed so that the tine can only deflect backwards and upwards. The high pivot point always ensures an optimum parallel position of the shear and the working surface. All cultivators can be equipped with a pneumatic top seed drill, which places the seed behind the stalks, directly on the water-bearing soil layer. The chassis has been integrated into the frame. When the machine is lifted out, the spring-loaded closers in the area of the wheels are swung out by a folding mechanism. Thanks to this special design, the cultivator could be kept very short. When turning at the headland, the slim drawbar with movable lower linkage allows very tight steering radii. The optional traction booster on the drawbar can transfer up to 1,500 kilograms of weight to the tractor's rear axle. The trailing roller with two intermeshing rollers keep each other clean and ensure very good reconsolidation and lateral guidance on slopes. The finishing touch is a three-row spring-loaded harrow 
that brings the cut weeds to the surface to dry out. Its tines also work in a stroke-resistant manner. Wind and sun dry out the plants. In these summer temperatures, the effect can be seen after just a few hours. Now a few hours have passed. You can see the grass clover was cut off. It dries. The grass above also dries out. In our country, they say, it already hangs off, or it withers. In two days, everything will be completely dried. The Treffler Dream Team is proven successful. Grass clover cut 100%, effective and safe, without plowing and without chemicals. A wet forecast is no obstacle. Because the plants dry out quickly, you can effectively cultivate even before a shower. Next, we take a look at classic stubble cultivation. A precision cultivator with a working width of 5.60 meters is in use, yet this time on a three-point hitch. One tine sits here between the lower links of the tractor. The special distribution on three and a half beams ensures work without lateral pull. Thanks to its high passage, the device also copes well with large quantities of organic matter or moist chopped straw, which, as in this case, was distributed very unevenly. We could not observe any obstruction. We find better conditions on the next area. Here, the straw has been removed and the soil has already dried. The aim here is also a shallow undercutting of the stubble over the entire working width. Weed seeds and volunteer cereals should not be buried deeper than 5 centimeters so that they can quickly emerge to be regulated in the following working pass. Again, Rudy evaluates the result for us. Here we are standing in the stubble field. The cultivator was set to about 3 centimeters for the first stubble fall. The stubble is a bit long. This could be mulched in advance, but it is not absolutely necessary. The cultivator also works here without obstruction. Again, we see the entire area cut with a clean work result. If we sweep here with the broom again and look very closely, nothing has been smeared. The pores in the soil are open. And as soon as the rain falls, it can penetrate into the pores. The weeds, which are now on the surface, can dry up. Here, for example, it is chickweed. Great cutoff, and now the sun will dry up the rest. This is what the sun gives us. She does this without payment. This is for free. The next step is now to sow another catch crop. This has many positive effects. The intensive rooting promotes soil life fermentation, and structure. Nutrients are fixed and mobilized in the root region. The plant stand protects the surface from erosion and suppresses the emergence of weeds. However, because these multiple tasks cannot be performed by one plant species alone, a mixture is grown here. Each plant in this mixed crop performs one or more of the above tasks. The prerequisite, however, is uniform distribution and exact placement of the seed at the right depth. This is where the new two-component seed drill comes into play. Rudy explains the background of this innovation to us. Here we are in front of the two-component seeder. This machine was developed because there were problems with simultaneous sowing of coarse-grained and fine-grained seed, which normally don't mix together but segregate in the tank. The Treffler sowing machine solves this problem. We can sow coarse-grained crops, such as field beans and peas, over the first tank with the help of this chair. It can be driven 5, 8, or 10 centimeters deep, no matter how dry the soil is. The seed is placed on firm soil where the capillary action comes from below. The sickle coulter on the machine cuts into the soil and deposits the grain. This is still covered with virgin soil from three sides so that it gets enough moisture to grow nicely. These are field beans, and therefore large grains that must be placed deep in the ground. These are peas, an old form called peluskins. These also belong deep in the soil and need the water to germinate. Both are sown in the front with the tine seeder. 
At the rear, there is a double disc coulter, which is well known from other seed drills. Due to the parallelogram, it can be sewn quite flat. We now sew a mixture of fine legumes, some rye is mixed in as well. The rye is a very favorable and good component in the inner crop. It carries the mycorrhizal fungus into next year and must be sown as shallow as clover, half a centimeter to a centimeter. We cut into the ground, then press it again, all one centimeter deep. With this machine, there's a possibility to sow directly into the stubble or into the cultivator result. All the options are available. The two-component seeder can also be used in spring for sowing field beans and oats or peas and barley. All mixed crops can be sown in one operation with two components. Precision Spring Tooth Cultivator, Precision Cultivator, and Two-Component Seed Drill. Merely three examples why Treffler is a leader in agricultural technology. Treffler is tirelessly working on new solutions for organic farming without plowing. What do you think? Share your opinion below in the comments and leave a like if you liked this post. If you'd like to learn more about Treffler, visit their online presence at www.treffler.net. There you will find information about the company, its philosophy, the latest innovations, and farming concepts.